we're rolling. Hello everybody, thanks for stopping back on the channel. Today I have a very special guest with me, this is my friend Claire. Hello Claire. Hi. Hi. <laughs> and today we're going to be smelling some of the best men's fragrances in the game. These are the most hyped and most talked about and just to make things interesting, I'm going to add a couple of my personal favorites in there for a little bit of a twist. So, Claire, you are a beauty consultant for Mary Kay, yes, correct? Sir. Yes, yep. sir. And so you definitely know what you're talking about. You know what smells good on a guy? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, let's we'll see. So, we're ready to do this? Yeah, let's, go. let's go. Okay, so let's start off with this one right here. This is Dior Sauvage. A couple sprays. Let me know what your initial impressions are of this. I'd hug it. You'd hug it? I'd hug oh, it. you hug it, okay. Yeah, I'd hug it. What do you get right away? Is it more for younger guy, for older younger guy? Younger guy. You okay. And from one to ten, what would you give this? Ten being the best fragrance out there. Does like it really blow you away or? Seven, eight. Seven. Okay. I like it. That is good. I like it. This has been a lot of talk um, in the fragrance community. People on my channel know that I'm not a big fan of it. Sure, it smells nice in the opening. However, it gets a little bit generic in the dry down to me. But hey, Claire, you seem to like it with a seven out of ten. So <laughs> Dior Sauvage right there. All right, second one, we'll go with Dolce & Gabbana's The One. This is the Eau de Toilette. Okay. Thoughts on this one? Is this a little bit more of a mature scent? Uh, do you see yeah. like for the winter time maybe or for the summer you think? Winter. Winter, yep. It's a very cozy scent. This has tobacco and amber in here. So I was like, this is a very cozy scent. Do you like it as much as Sauvage or is it kind of iffy with At you? At first, no, but it's mm -hmm. growing on me. Okay, cool. It's growing. As it's drying down, nice. So what'd you give this one out of a 10? 5.7. 5.7. I don't know. That's a hard one. So you, you don't like it as much as Sauvage then? I don't know. It's growing on me. The more like... Try, try again. <sighs> okay, maybe like a 7. 7. Solid 7. Okay, there you have it. Okay, next we will go with this one. This one was released last year. A lot of talk about it. This is That's Invictus so Aqua. How do you like this bottle? A lot of people oh, say it's really tacky. Cute. It's cute. It's, it's kind of tacky, but it's like <laughs> cute tacky. Okay. What are your thoughts about this one? Let me air it out a little bit. There we go. Ooh. Take this aqua. Yes. Summertime, definitely. A little bit more yes. casual, you think? Or dressed up, like in a suit, you think? Dressed up. Dressed up? Nice. Okay. I think so. This is very good performance on this one for a summer scent. Has a little bit of a sweetness from the original. Mm -hmm. And so you definitely, definitely like this one? Yeah. You continue talking to a guy you think if he was wearing this on? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. For sure. Cool. So <laughs> final rating of Invictus Aqua. What would you give it out of 10? 7.63. Okay, so it's the best you've tried so far, though? You would yeah. You say? Cool. Yeah. Tough yeah. grader, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Let's go with this one. This is CH Man Preve. Oh, camera's over here. <laughs> By Carolina Herrera. And the bottle, ready? Oh, do that again. Blew your mind. Hold this one up. <laughs> ready? Go. Boom. All right. <laughs> So what about C.H. Man Privé? Hello. Mm-hmm. That has whiskey in it. Maybe that's what you're smelling up top. Yeah? Do you think it's more wintertime or kind of like a casual wear or dressed up? Maybe nighttime? Nighttime, but not fancy. Okay. So just like a nice kind of going like to a club or a lounge or something? Or okay. Like lounge, yeah. Cool. What is your rating of C.H. Man Privé? Six and a half. Six and a half. Okay. So it's about the middle of the pack then. Cool. It's interesting. 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 I need some coffee beans. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with Azaro's Chrome. I like the bottle on this too. I do too. Mm -hmm. <sighs> <laughs> Don't watch that smell. <laughs> what do you like about this one? Is it a yes or a no immediately right off the bat? I don't know if I would hug them for very long. Mm -hmm. sure, but I it. wouldn't turn them down. Okay. So it's like average kind of. This happens to be one of my personal favorites. This is the one that uh, really got me addicted to fragrances, more or less, and got me into this hobby. So oh, I think I'm feeling lightheaded. Feeling lightheaded? <laughs> so what would you rate this one? Don't go too easy on me. You can give this one whatever you want. I, I won't be mad at you. <laughs> Maybe a 6.4. 6.4. Okay. Cool. So we Okay, we'll go with a Chanel next. I like, I like those. Like Chanel? Usually. Okay, what are your thoughts about Chanel Allure Homme Sports Eau Extreme? Very long fragrance name. It smells like Play-Doh. <laughs> smells like Play-Doh, really. <laughs> Start off, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Actually, yeah, with, with this one, don't smell too close, waft it. There you go, yeah. Kind of get get the waft from it. If you smell too close, it'll be kind of harsh. 
thoughts about Chanel Extreme? Okay. A little sporty, maybe fresh. A little sporty. A little sweetness to it as well. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think this is for a younger guy, like high school, or do you think like a guy that's settled down? I feel like it's a high schooler trying to settle down. <laughs> okay, okay. You know, there are a couple of those out there. Yeah. So what'd you give this one out of a 10? A six. Another six, okay. Yes, yeah, Tough grader. <laughs> We're getting there though. She said this one's fancy. This is Yves Saint Laurent's La Nuit de Lome. A lot of people will be very, very interested to see what your thoughts are about this one. This um, has quite a reputation in the fragrance Ooh, community. We'll just say pressure. that. Pressure, it's on. Thoughts about this. Mm, Tough, right? I don't know. You don't know? I don't know. What do you find about it? Do you, anything that jumps out at you? Any notes, like sweetness in there maybe? Or mm, more evening wear, do you think? Would it be good yes. on a date? Yes. Or, okay, yes. cool. Yeah. So, do you not like it though as much as some of the other ones, or that how one? Do you feel about it? So you like this one better still, Invictus Aqua? I think that one still, still takes. Still beats it out. Boom. Cool. So, what would you give Land to Loam out of ten? Maybe a five Five point seven. Okay. So. Sorry. <laughs> that, oh, that's that's perfectly fine. Land to Loam only gets five point seven. I'm not the biggest fan of this either. I think it's definitely overhyped. We'll go with this one. This is the one that came out last year. One million Privé. Now this one, really be careful with it, just waft it around. Swapping. Yes, it's kind of strong. One million pre Mm-hmm. This is for fall. For fall, definitely, yeah. It has that sweet, cozy vibe. This has cinnamon in here, as well as some tobacco notes, so it is really nice, cozy scent for the fall. And do you think it smells more feminine or more masculine? Because that's been a little bit of a, people say this definitely smells like a woman's perfume, mm. which I sort of get it a little bit, but what are your thoughts it's on that? It's got that feminine, vibe in mm -hmm. it very sweet but very I think, loud right? yeah. i think a, i think you can definitely pull it off as a guy okay cool so what would you give it. this out of a 10 you like it yeah okay. i do probably a seven seven probably so far seven. paco rabanne these are both actually from the same fragrance house they both the same thing so maybe you like these types of scents that's just something right there <laughs> i like that one cool all right now things are about to get good this is nautica voyage a legend in the summertime oh. Mm -hmm. I'm a sucker for summer. Oh yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> I like Hello. that one. <laughs> cool. Yeah, it's it's really really good. And take a guess of the price of this too. I mean, most average clones what run 40, 50 bucks. Take a guess of how much this is. Thirty two. Lower than that. Twenty eight. Lower than that. Twenty four. Lower than that. Sixteen. Uh, yeah, about fifteen about dollars for this bottle. It's a great great value. And you like the smell of it? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh gosh. Definitely for the summertime, do you see this yes. being pretty versatile? Like you can wear it dressed down, maybe dressed up a little bit. Yeah, cool. definitely, either and way. I think it's more for younger guys, like high schooler definitely, or? Honestly, I think from like high school to like 40s. Nice. It's so pretty, it's pretty. Pretty versatile, right? Yeah. Cool. So you definitely give a guy a compliment if he was wearing this, right? Is that? He'd probably think I was crazy. <laughs> I'd probably hug him for about 10 minutes. Oh, dang. <laughs> Wow, so this is your favorite so far then? I don't it's know. Tough. So between that one and here, and, and, smell, yes. smell, smell this one again. This Let me is, smell this again. Yeah. These actually are both great for the summertime, mm. also. Like I said, I'm a sucker for summer. Uh huh. I think I almost like that one this better. This one better? Than, wow. Yeah. Dethrones Invictus right there. Boom. Woo. So what would you give Nautica Voyage out of 10? Eight. Eight out Let's of ten. Let's go eight. We're getting up there, folks. <laughs> wow. This is actually one of my most complimented fragrances of the summer of last year, too, so boom. So this is Aqua di Gio Profumo. You probably smelled Aqua di Gio sometime before. It's one of the most popular men's fragrances out there, pretty much. So this is the new version of that. Oh. You like I it? I like it. Okay. I like it. This has the notes of patchouli and incense in there. Definitely more of a masculine take on the traditional Aqua di Gio. Do you like I like it? it. Cool. Would you say this can be worn all year round? Does it remind you of the beach by any chance? Or no. no? I think it's all year round. Okay. And nighttime, daytime, would we work on a date, you think? Either. Either or? Either okay. way. So what'd you get this one out of ten points? This is hard. This is a difficult one. Maybe a seven. Seven. Okay, cool. So definitely it's on the I don't know, maybe like an upper seven. Upper seven. Upper okay. seven. Solid seven, there we go. Cool. All right, so we have this one right here. This is Parfums de Marley Habden. This is a niche fragrance, pretty exclusive and hard to find. So what do you think about this? Hear that out. 
It makes me think of the dentist's office. Dentist's office? Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like flossing teeth, fluoride, is that kind of thing? Or? Just like the smell of the dentist's office. Smell of the dentist. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? For I mean, I like the dentist. So. Okay. <laughs> Definitely a good thing. It makes me feel at home. <laughs> okay. I love wearing this in the fall time. This has notes of myrrh. It smells to me like a caramel apple because it has caramel in here as well. Yes. Okay. Is that my, yeah. I see it. Well, I don't see it. I smell it. <laughs> yeah. Do you think it's worth the price? This can be almost found for $250. Do you think it's worth that price? No? It's tough, right? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, it's nice, but okay. I don't so, know if that, that much money on it. Okay. So what would you give this out of 10? Six, maybe? Six. Okay. So a six for Parfums de Marley have them. All right, we have come to the last one. This is Atelier Cologne's Bergamot Soleil. Okay. This one should brighten up your day, I think. Because to me, it smells like rays of sunshine. Aww. <laughs> it's very, very nice. It's bright and uplifting. Any notes pop out to you? Because it says no to Summer. 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 Yep. Is it citrusy? Very, yeah. yeah. Very citrusy. This is one of my favorite houses. They specialize in doing great citrus, authentic smells. I like it. Good. Very uplifting. Um, so do you think this is like a sexy smell? Like, if you smell something like a guy, you'd be like, yes? <laughs> or, or <laughs> I mean, is it just like a nice kind of smell just to have on you, you know? Would you be like attracted to it or? I would want to go walk down the beach with a guy. Welcome. Okay, nice. So it's like a beach holiday type of a scent. Bearing that in mind, what do you give Bergamot Soleil out of 10? Seven? Seven. I like it. Okay, cool. It's different. I've Di not like different, smelled yeah. a cologne like this before. Very unique. Yeah. All right, so now we're gonna take the top four favorite of Claire's picks and we're gonna have them battle off to see which one is her ultimate favorite. So on the left hand is Aqua de Gio Profumo and on the right hand is Bergamot Soleil. Which one wins between these two? This one. Which would be more attractive on a guy. Aqua de Gio Profumo takes the cake, I would have to agree. Boom. Definitely. <laughs> Here. Mm. It's really good. <laughs> It's, it's starting to grow, right? As it dries down, that patchouli comes out. I would definitely date a guy that wore this. Definitely. And cool. if he didn't, I would buy it for him. <laughs> Be like, you have to wear it. Have to wear it. <laughs> Left hand is Invictus Aqua, and right hand is Nautica Voyage. Heavy weights of the summer here. Which one is the best? It's tough. They're both aquatic and should remind you of like, the ocean. This is really hard. It's really difficult. I know, they are too great. So, just like split second decision, guy walked up to you and he was wearing either one of these, which one would you be more attracted to? Just, boom, quick second decision. This one. <laughs> this one, Invictus Aqua, okay. Probably because this has the original Invictus DNA, which we all know is a lady killer, so that is probably why she chose Invictus Aqua over Nautica Voyage. All right, mm -hmm. so we have arrived at the final battle. I have resprayed Aqua de Gio Profumo versus Invictus Aqua. Which one is gonna win? this battle. Wow, this is so hard. <laughs> uh, and I just want to like spend the summer with whoever wears this. Okay. And then this, this one, one, I just want to like go on a million dates. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to weigh which one is better though. Uh, both of them. Both of them are great. So guys, you're good with either one of these just saying that right now. But we got to choose a winner here. It has to Hold be on, a let me take a... Okay, yeah. Breathe in the natural aroma that we have going out here. Okay, I'm gonna shock myself, and I okay. think I'm gonna go with the left hand. Going with Invictus Aqua is going to be the winner of this battle. Boom, we have the winner. That is crazy, <laughs> amazing. So you, you really like this stuff then, definitely. Uh, yeah, because it's like you can go on a date, but you can also mm -hmm. like take a walk on a beach. So it's, first of all, yeah, it's both. <laughs> Perfect. So Claire has brought along a couple of her fragrances from Mary Kay. There we go, and she's actually gonna see how I like them and what I think about them, so we're switching it up here a little bit. All right, we okay. have Tribute Tributes. by Mary Kay. I got this for my dad for his birthday, and he's like the most picky, picky guy picky ever, guy, yeah. and he loves it. Okay. So, tell me what you think. Is. All right, here we go. Ooh, it's definitely sharp, very kind of like a bitterness in the opening, mm -hmm. but it smells nice. Um, I think I'm picking up some green notes in there as well. Definitely very cooling and refreshing. I, I do like it a lot. I think it would work great for the spring and the summertime. Definitely really, really nice. Really, really good. Cool. Would and you then, wear it? Uh, yes, I would definitely wear it. You know, I, I wear almost anything. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the better ones out there. It is really nice. Like I could definitely see myself wearing it in the spring 
almost has like a dressed up thing if I'm wearing like a suit. I think this would work really, really good for that. All right. And then we have this little doohickey right there. Cityscape. <laughs> Cityscape. I have to say this one's my favorite. Okay. This one's my favorite. So it should be like a very modern scent, right? Kind of like an urban thing. Yes. Cityscape. Okay. The guy on the front looks pretty, pretty modern. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's see what Cityscape is all about. Okay. A little bit of like a muskiness in there, like a slight sweetness. Actually, this reminds me a little bit of this. Is that just me? Maybe, what? maybe that Let might me be. smell this again. Yeah. They smell very similar. Is that just me? Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Maybe we're catching on something here. So, Cityscape. I'll yeah. Like Has a little bit more of a sweetness on there than that. All right, so I think we might need some coffee beans after doing this. Uh, <laughs> is your nose okay still? No? <laughs> I'm, I'm hanging in there. <laughs> hanging in there. Okay, cool. So that's pretty much sums up this video. Let us know what you thought about this video in the comments section down below. As always, stay tuned for more fragrance contact. Contact. Content. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say, if you want to um, contact her, she got you with the hookup. I will leave her business information down below. And you need some stuff from Mary Kay, she can hook you up with that. All right, so see you guys next time on the channel. Bye. Need some coffee beans. Yeah. <laughs> I would definitely hug that one for definitely. like five minutes. Nice. Stop. <laughs> no. That's gone. <laughs> Bye. You want me to break that one? <laughs> uh, I don't think you want. No. I don't think you want to hear that one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is actually from a brand called Scentbird. I always call it like Netflix for cologne. They can send you a little monthly subscription. Yep. Oh, that's right? so cool. <laughs> I'm so indecisive. It's battle time. I don't know, I really like that. You like that one? <laughs> I inhaled too hard. <laughs>